Yes, this is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Cruz, Jim Marbella. I'm in Dublin today, we just witnessed the way in between Dean Byrne and Peter McDonough for the Irish title. Pretty intense that for a Wayne as Wayne's go Yeah, Dean. I know. Uh, obviously, I wasn't here for the press conference yesterday and obviously I, I, I must have said something over the period of training camp that uh, hit a nerve with Peter, but I don't take nothing uh, Personally, you know, it's business for me. This is all part of the. This is all part of camp. This is all part of the fight, the build-up, the the banter. Like, you know what I mean? But obviously, it's got to him, which I didn't mean. I didn't mean for it to get to him, but I'm glad that I did. It just shows the the the, the silliness that he's playing. But like, it's going to affect him more. It's going to affect me because it hasn't affected me one bit. You know what I mean? It's him that was was the one that 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 instigated it all. You know what I mean? I don't know if, he, if it was the plastic patty or it was the fact that I said I was on the drink the weekend. But I've trained really, really hard for this fight. This fight is like my world title. It, it's in my hometown. I've been in that ring over 200 times. I ain't losing to Pierre McDonough. He's a journeyman. I cannot lose to him. I cannot get in the ring in front of my family and friends tomorrow night and not put, put on the best performance in my life. I will do it. That's what I will do. And whether he says he's not going to shake my hand after or not, that's up to him, you know what I mean? I'm getting in to do a job, a business, this is a business, you know what I mean? This is a business, so anything after that, sweet. But tomorrow night I have a job to do and that's all it is, it's business, you know, nothing personal. I'm just going in to do my job and, and the better man that's going to win on the night, I'm looking forward to it. What was you saying to each other? What were some of the things that was exchanged during the uh, face-off He thing? said I got knocked out in my last fight, I said. I said, yeah, but the guy that I fought is fighting for a world title next. He's number seven in the world. I take chances. I gave him a good fight. You know, he, he caught me in the equilibrium and my balance went in the first round. I was I was doing well. I watched the fight even last night. I, I done well in that fight, you know. And he's a world he's a world uh, operator. The guy is in, ranked in the WBC in number in number seven. Like you know, Peter McDonough, like well, he get wiped out in two rounds against that guy, you know. He's gonna get wiped out with me. I'm gonna box the ears off. Him. He's gonna see that, like he may have not have lost it since 2013, and I may have not have won in 2013. But he's been fighting bombs. I've been fighting guys that are world le level, world ranked, because no one, no one will face me. But fair play, he stepped up and he thinks he can beat me. Good luck to him. He's gonna need all the luck in the world, all that plastic paddy luck, because you know what? I override any type of luck or make me own because I've worked hard for this and I know I'm going to take it home. It's coming back to London with me and uh, the Irish title will be mine. Irish line will strike again. I'm looking forward to it. The Fireborns, thank you, James Helen. Dean, thank you for your time. I look forward to this fight. It's a real cracking matchup and hopefully it lives up to expectation. Nice one. Cheers, James. my man. Thanks, be lucky. Man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Bye.